interesting. That's weird. The trains have red lights. See, so check it out. There's controls here. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to push the button to activate it, but it's red right now. If you press it, it doesn't work. Same thing. Press it, it doesn't work. It's kind of disappointing. So all four trains have a red light now, and I have no idea why. Oh, I see. So that's the 444 roundhouse. This is the 140 tunnel. Okay, and this is the industrial power station. This is heavy. Okay, this is the Hellgate Bridge. Oh, there goes the train. Okay, this is the Lionel 124 station. And this is the Lionel 926 plot. Interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, I'm gonna keep going. But I'm gonna come back to that. <laughs> Floridon, that's a weird name. Large scales. Ooh, Southern Pacific, 6180. 8230, the All-Star Circus. Uh-oh, check it out. That, there's a dude in blackface. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't censored that yet. Oh well, mum's the word. Anyway. Oh, scale. Nice. All sorts of stuff in O scale. All the pretty so golden last. Cool. All right, there's O scale. Here's S scale. So that means a 50 foot long boxcar in real life would be nine and a four quarter inches on this S scale. Cool. It kind of looks like a Lionel, but it's only two track. Wow, look at this round table. This is really small scale. Wait a minute, is this HO gauge? Yep, this is HO scale. But there's a roundhouse. Notice they got little people there and bushes. A couple of steam locomotives with tender cars. That one's wood powered. We have got wood power, wood up there in the tender car. Wow. Got some pretty, all sorts of different HO scale. There's another like Pacific Daylight colored one. I can't read the number. I think it's just 18. Ugh. My eyes aren't as young. N scale. See, N is really small. There's the Burlington Northern. I love that black, white. Whoops, I accidentally touched the glass. Black, white, and yellow of the original Burlington Northern. This is before it was Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Look at all those cute little um, locomotives. So small. Wow, very fragile. And the triple, look at that, three layer car carrier. My brother calls them parking lots. Okay, Z scale, check it out. It's like a high speed train up there, heavy duty car right there. Two pantographs on that one car. That's a passenger train. Look at this cool little, little setup there they have. Wow, it's got a little train. It's obviously fake steam. It would be impressive if they could do a real steam locomotive that small. Like give it a one drop of gasoline or something to run on. One drop of water. Wow, that is tiny. Okay. And then this wall here, toy trains. There's Thomas the Tank Engine, Harry Potter, more Lionel. There's Lionel everywhere around here. Look at that. They got a helicopter and a submarine. Radioactive waste. Yeah, they can just label it like that. Hmm. So, I want to keep going this general direction. So here's 1828. This looks like seven and a half inch gauge. Too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like this one would be real steam. Yeah. Live steam miniature. It doesn't tell you the gauge. There's supposed to be cycles. It's like everybody knows it's seven and a half inch gauge. So there's that code. M's. 63, 21, 28, 150S, M9. Yeah, everybody knows what that means. All right. All right, so check it out. There's a nice big railroad up here. Kind of narrow gauge. 
Boy, I bet it was hard lifting it up the stairs. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I would like to see how they got it up here for real. It's a nice big locomotive. Looks like it's 36 inch gauge. Nevada short line, 40 inch. I was close. Oh no, wait a minute, Never mind. I was right, check it out. 260, 36 inches. Who said 36 inches? I was just guessing. No, the 40 inches is the wheel diameter. All right, then. Nevada short line. How short was it? Notice it's got couplers. Oh, that's weird. This one has a coupler like larger freight trains. This one has a special coupler. Interesting. Southern Pacific lines. Oh wow, here's a box car full of stuff. Dude smoking a cigar. Hopefully there's no dynamite back here. SP331. There's a SP145. 25 pounds. Oh, that's funny. It said it was tested at 40 pounds. They mean per square inch, but they didn't say per square inch. Sloppy. So freight train narrow gauge. It's funny. It talks about caboose number two. Tank cars. 145 and 331. Huh, interesting. Okay, so here's another, uh, what's it called? Here's that caboose, number two. United States Safety Appliance. There's a dude in there working hard or hardly working. Huh, whoops. Notice it's got the kerosene lamp there for light, so this is really old. Look at hand down, I'll show you something cool. It's like we're on a trestle here. You look between the um, cross ties here, it's like all the way down to the first floor. So it's like 20 feet down. Now if you got any funny ideas about how this, um, oh that's fun, there's a dude in the window. Do you have any gray coupon? All right, anyway. Interesting, so there's that, number two. Wanna pan down so you can see the rails. It looks like the rails are real, but it's a dead end, it doesn't go any farther. So they have like room for one more car up here. Oh wow, I'm gonna switch batteries soon. My car battery, or my camera battery. For second floor access, use the other stairs. Okay, good to know. So here's more model railroading. Holy cow. This, I'm not sure what gauge this is. This is smaller than a seven and a half inch gauge. Looks like five inch gauge or something like that. I don't see a label. Look, there's a cool roundhouse. All sorts of miniature horses and horse drawn um, carriages these are about HO scale some of these are bigger like S scale wow look at the size of this collection holy cow dude if I owned a collection this big I would have like an under armed guard it's like nobody touches my stuff like right here most of this is HO gauge and in the top it looks more like they have uh, what's it called um like G scale or something. I like the dome car, the old fashioned dome cars like they had on Amtrak before the 